Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to record this using the photo booth chipmunk effect. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to make this thing in Photoshop and it's super easy. It's only going to take one minute, maybe max. So all you have to do, go outside, take a picture of the clouds or basically grab whatever image you want or download it from wherever you want. It doesn't have to be clouds. It can be basically anything and you're going to import that into Photoshop. First off, you're going to double click on your layer and the layer style window will pop up. And now you're going to deselect two of the three color channels you have. For this case, I'm going to leave the blue selected at first. It doesn't really matter the order, but just leave one selected and press OK. We're going to then duplicate our layer. You can do that by just pressing Command J on a Mac. Uh, control J on a PC, I think. Otherwise, you can just click and drag it onto this little plus sign here at the bottom of the screen, and you got your copy. Double click on it again, and now deselect the blue channel, and we're gonna select the green one. Press OK, and we're gonna repeat that step one last time. So duplicate our layer, double click on it, and this time we're just gonna select the red channel, and press OK. Now. The image might look normal to you, and it is because we have three layers and each layer has one channel, color channel selected. But as soon as you start moving your layer around or resizing it or tilting it sideways, that's when all the RGB color split will pop up. So just with the arrow keys or however you prefer, you can just command T or control T to transform and you can move it around and you can see that the colors will start showing up and you can just play around with all of the layers you have in here till you're happy with the amount of colors showing. Uh, now I think this looks really cool and that's it. That's literally it. You can do this with any type of image. Now, of course, clouds look cool, but I'm telling you a lot of stuff looks cool. And you can do this with just selected parts of your image and it could be a really easy way you can make a sort of like glitch effect. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment down below if you have any tutorial suggestions or requests. If you don't already, go give me a follow on Instagram. I'm posting daily designs on there. I am at day like 650 something, so pretty far along. And linked in the description down below are gonna be all my assets. So my texture packs and gradient map packs and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.